Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series to learn about I comparable interface. In this video, we will learn the basics of I comparable interface. In C Ash, the collection class like ArrayList can store class objects. There are a lot of other collection class here in this uh, sub series. We are going to take array list and we will store uh, other class instance inside this uh, array list instance. So it's a collection class which can maintain one to n number of uh, objects inside it. All right, now array list will have a collection of uh, objects. And if we want to sort the stored objects, stored objects, we should implement I comparable interface. So the I comparable interface tells how two objects can be compared. The interface asks you to implement compare to method. Let's say we have a class, that class object get stored inside the array list now array list should know how to sort those objects well, because a class object is a members collection of members and uh, i mean collection of data member and uh, behaviors so the array list should know how the class object can be sorted so if there are n numbers n number of uh, members then uh, the compare to method will tell array list how it can sort object let's say this is one object and it contains one to n member and how to sort the collection of objects that is uh, uh, educated by the compare to compare to will educate to array list uh, sort the object by uh, member two so uh, when we proceed with this uh, sub series, you will get a clear picture. For now, you can say that um, a class can have uh, n number of data member, and inside the array list, we will store instances of this object or collection of this object. The moment you call array list dot sort, the array list should know how to sort the object based on what member it needs to sort and how it should sort or how it should arrange the uh, instance of these objects which one should come first which one should come next in the array list so those are all decided by this uh, compare to method if it is a primitive data type say for example uh, let's say we are storing integer four five six then this is a single entity so we know the sorting will be performed based on the value of this integer but object is a collection right collection of members i mean uh, a class object is a uh, collection of or a, uh, a class object contains one or more members data members so under which member we need to perform a sorting here based on member two uh, if we want to perform start sorting then that stuff should go inside this compare to method compare to method tells how to sort object so that's what we define inside this compare to method for example let's say array list instance so array list itself is an instance and this instance stores collection of other class instance let's say student class instance or objects of this student class will get stored inside the array list so the array list may contain one or more uh, objects of student class or we can simply say uh, array list is a collection of students now let's say the student is having i mean the student class is having data members like student height name and a student weight so the moment you call uh, array list dot sort so array list is having instances of the student class so here you are seeing six slot right six slot is having 
uh, instance of uh, this uh, student. That means each slat will have a student represented by height, name and weight. So if we want to sort, how we want to start, we want to sort based on height or based on student name or based on weight. So that will be uh, educated by this compare to method. Compare to method educates array list how to sort the student collection. The student class should implement compare to method. So that means that the student class will have implement i comparable then inside the body we will implement this uh, compare to method and compare to method will tell how to sort or how to compare one student instance with uh, other student instance so if you give two it knows how to compare these two and it knows whether it needs to move this object here or the sorting order at this location itself are perfect. If it is not perfect, then it will move the uh, object in such a way that uh, it will get arranged. I mean, it will get sorted. Compare to method will tell how to sort object. Just now we saw here. For example, here we can sort student by height or by name or by weight. And at the same time, we can say how the sorting will be. If we are sorting it based on student height, highest student should come first. Next, it goes like highest to smallest or smallest student to highest student. So you can decide how you want to sort based on height or based on weight or based on alphabetical order of student name. Based on return, based on the compare to return value, the object will be sorted. So we will see compare to method in detail now. Let's say uh, this is the uh, prototype or signature of the compare to method. This is the method name, and it takes an object and returns an integer. This integer will tell how the collection class. The collection class can be anything, array list, linked list, or whatever C sharp object. So it tells how to sort the object, this integer. So for example, if uh, the return value is zero, then the compare to method is uh, telling the uh, calling collection object. In our example, the calling collection object is array list. The compare to method is telling to array list that uh, the object position will not change. That means so both objects are equal. You no need to uh, exchange or you no need to do anything. So that's what it will say the zero. And when the method returns negative, so before going on to negative and positive, let's say how the values are fed uh, uh, into this uh, compare to method. Let's say we have array list, array list of uh, some. Yeah, here itself uh, we specified five slot. Let's say this is the array list. And what happens? This object, this object means um, here, let's say each instance is a student. And in the previous slide, we told that uh, this uh, student object will implement I comparable interface and it will provide compare to method. So let's say this is the compare to method. So that means the compare to method is implemented inside the student object. And what we store here in the collection is also a student object. That means when we make a call to compare to from the student object itself, whoever is calling that, let's say std1, that's a student1 dot compare to let me keep it as a C2, then S2. S2 is one more student here. Student 1 is compared with S2, and who is calling this compared to is a student 1. So this STD1 is referred as this object. And here, if you see, this object, it will be picked one by one from this array list, and it will make a call to compare to by passing the object which was not yet compared. 
so for example very first time it will pick uh, this object this object will be the very first one in the slot and obj will take the remaining one so we call this as one pass on each pass we um, uh, fix the sorting for uh, one index location that means we sort here we are taking this right um, in one pass we will say whether the object remains here or in the sorting where it will go so that we will decide now let's look at the return value negative negative means this object whatever is uh, calling std1 that object precedes obj1 incoming one so let's say the sorting is going on between so let's say this is the this object and obj1 is fed from this so each time when we are comparing these two when we return negative when we return zero both will stay on the same location but when we negative when we return negative this object this object means this one precedes object in the sort order so here it will stay on this location itself precede means suppose if this object is here it will precede this one it will come here similarly positive means this object comes next to the obj whatever is comparing here it should go next to obj so here we are comparing two we are comparing two object let's say this is a this object and this one is obj if both are same no need to change the position but if it is negative this object moves precedes precedes means it comes before obj if it is positive oh, sorry if it is a uh, negative if it is positive it will move this side so it comes next to the obj so that's how we perform uh, sorting when we write compare to method we have to write in such a way uh, that we should pick some specific member of a student then we should use the boolean operator and decide uh, what we need to return we need to return zero positive one negative one or simply a positive value or negative value so that's all here in this video it may be a little bit uh, confusing when we go with the example you will clearly understand it Thank you for watching. Bye.